Hey, what is going on guys? It is Spurdan here. Welcome back to another Rocket League discussion video. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that needs to be addressed. It's been a long time since I've addressed this in a proper video. Actually, I don't think I've ever addressed this in a proper video. Rocket League needs to do more. They need to do more to stay alive in this game. And I'll have a whole video on that one as well. But in today's video, Rocket League needs to do more. And not saying they're going to take our advice at all. This, this video is just kind of a, not a rant, but they need to do more. But I will say, it will be in a separate video as well. I still trust them. I still have faith that Rocket League will make a comeback. And we're just kind of in that stagnant period right now but as you can see right on the screen let's start off right off the bat as you can see right on the screen right now there are six new news things new uh links to uh articles and stuff like that one of them is a gameplay change four of them are items and one of them is just normal patch notes which has items inside the patch notes because that was the patch note of the bugatti uh being fully customizable and i will say a full disclaimer here, I am a fan of both items and the gameplay. So this is really awesome to me to look at, right? As a fan of items, I see Star Wars items. I see the X-Men items. I see Avatar and I see City Slam and I love it. I'm like, oh, this is awesome, dude. Look how cool this looks. But what if you're not a fan of items? What if all this is just getting put, like your gameplay aspect of Rocket League is getting put aside? meaning by that now this is again something that is also a little bit of our fault we don't really give the i mean no actually it's not our fault but they don't come out with enough new extra game modes or just game modes in general i can see one of the main new gameplay changes was teammate boost indicators great update phenomenal update loved every second of it and i still love it to this day everything else is just items and the people saying that there are no gameplay changes i don't want them to change the gameplay i want them to come out with more fun stuff to do let's go through this so starting off right off the bat may the fourth be with you in rocket league celebrate star wars in 2024 could have made a game mode could have put a star wars map with a game mode like a limited time mode could have done something like that and again they have tried that one other time and it was i believe the mandalorian event a long time ago and no one played the gameplay or no one played the uh the event no one played it and again that is partially our fault but a lot of people did and it was fun it was something new it was something awesome but for the Star Wars event, there was no game mode added to this. Okay, that's fine. It's a, it was mostly a Fortnite event anyway. Let's go to the X-Men series. Again, huge fan of the items. I loved all of the items, but there was no new game mode. There was nothing besides purchase items. And again, I love items. I won't, I can't stress that enough. I love having new items in Rocket League. It's one of the best things, but they need to understand that there are two sides to Rocket League. There, there are. There are two sides of the player base. One of them is items, and one of them is gameplay. And they need to learn to balance those two out. It's not going to be successful if you're only coming out with items. Purchase this, purchase this, purchase it. That's great for the players who love collecting items, but when you have the gameplay or nothing new, I should say, in a gameplay where we're like oh this event is awesome like you get a gameplay you get items to buy you get a new map all that stuff you have nothing and i don't know much about fortnite but it sounds like they're doing a pretty good job of mixing both together it sounds like they get brand new events on top of also getting new items that are optional to buy but it seems like rocket league is very one-sided right now and that is only focusing on items and again super awesome but the gameplay players or the people that want something new and fun not re not messing with our ranked don't mess with our ranked playlist or anything like that but you know something new and exciting let's get to the next one patch notes version two well that's just the patch notes but the main thing that they did was first of all 
they made the Bugatti, which was super cool, by the way. They made the Bugatti fully customizable. That was really sick. I'm not going to lie. That was sick. But then you got this. Teammate, teammate boost indicators and rarity name changes coming to Rocket League. First of all, the rarity name changes was so thrown in, just like trading got removed. It was so thrown in, and everyone was just like, why? But the teammate boost indicator, a phenomenal update. Amazing update. Keep going with that. But then you got another item. Avatar The Last Airbender. Again, super cool. A little underwhelming, actually. Very underwhelming, in my opinion. Did not live up to the hype. Could have came out with an Earth game mode. Could have came out with an Avatar game mode. Like, put Rumble as, like, fire, air, earth, wind. Do something cool to be like, this limited time mode was awesome. City Slam event. By far, still one of the most missed out opportunities in Rocket League's recent history. And I'll explain what I mean. Support your favorite season mode items in Rocket League City Slam. You know what they did? They gave us challenges to do. Awesome. I love that. I love free challenges to do. And don't change the challenges at all. Those challenges are amazing because they don't affect the gameplay of your ranked. I don't want like get five turtle goals and my teammate is doing freaking turtle goals in 2v2 ranked. Not happening. So I really like the challenges. But, but there is something that they could have done that just would have made it 10 times better. So here it is. We have all of these for free. They are cool. Don't get me wrong. And of course, as always, which is perfectly fine, you could buy the cooler versions. Again, super, super optional. There is no reason why you would need to force to do that. But they missed out on one of the greatest opportunities they could have done in recent history. And do you guys remember during Rocket League Fan Clash right here? One year ago, not even a long time ago, one year ago, you were able to choose your favorite team to play as, right? And then all you had to do was sign up, right? You choose your, oh, you just do all that. You choose your RLCS team. Could you imagine in Fan Clash, you chose your favorite, like let's say everyone chose the Bombers or some people chose to do the Destroyers or I don't know what that is and I'm kind of scared of that guy. Let's choose the Mammoths. You got to choose which team you wanted to represent. You still got all the decals, but you had to sign up here, choose your RLCS team. And then what you did is fan clash leaderboards track your progress whatever team has the most goals assists, all that got a special reward do you know how awesome that would have been that would have been so much fun and that would have been fun for everybody because i remember this event this event was awesome <coughs> you got all this stuff just dang look at this team placement rewards here we go first place got gold painted ballistic pro goal explosion team titan player title and one import drop i'm very jealous if you have that by the way second place team one very very drop. granted there were just drops after that but it would have given us a reason a reason to be like i want to pick this team and they didn't do it all they did was this and it's just like you could have done so much more to make people would have wanted way more of this stuff and it just <clears throat> a lot of missed out opportunities and we also take a look down here obviously we have the the rocket passes which again i will never complain about rocket passes will forever be a thing and we can't get mad about that i mean that's just that's something that's going to be a thing forever it's just the way it is season rewards you know that that's a whole different topic but those have always been not the best to be honest with you <coughs> keep an extra game mode in rotation with rocket league's doing arcade playlist great update great great update for the non for the players who don't play competitive or casual fun, like you know like normal soccer this gave players something else to do phenomenal phenomenal update and this is what we need more of. We don't, we need more effort from Rocket League and Epic Games and Sion, mostly, mostly Epic Games. I know Psyonix would do this, but they just, we need more effort from you guys. Like I just, I'm not quitting on you guys at all, by the way. My next video is going to be, I'm not giving up on you. So I just want to let you guys know, well, 
unless they come out with something then obviously not but again this is not a complaining video about these items in these like city slam event and uh master the elements these are all really cool so please please keep those going but do more that's all we ask just give us some love you know so yeah that's that's all i really wanted to talk about today and i hope you guys agree with me because i thought this was a really cool video to make and i'm gonna be making a couple more discussion videos um this is kind of like the style that i like to do right now um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode